Hello, good morning. I Seema Garg, Associate Professor in Chemistry, SPC Government College, Ajmer. Today, video 142, it is for BSc Part 1, Organic Chemistry, Paper 2. Today, we will discuss types of organic reactions. Organic reactions are Broadly of following four types, substitution reactions, addition reactions, elimination reactions, and rearrangement reactions. Substitution reactions. A substitution reaction is that which involves the direct replacement, displacement, or substitution of an atom or a group of atoms in an organic molecule by another atom or group of atoms without any change in the remaining part of the molecule. That is the incoming groups gets attached to the same carbon to which the outgoing group was attached. Depending upon the nature of the attacking species, that is, a, it may be nucleophile, electrophile, or a free radical. The substitution reactions are of following three types. Electrophilic substitution reaction, nucleophilic substitution reaction, and free radical substitution reaction. Electrophilic substitution reaction. In these reactions, the attacking species in, is an electrophile and the reactive site in the substrate is uh, electron rich, that is uh, nucleophile. For example, see here, benzene and nitronium. Benzene, it is electron rich, so it is a nucleophile. Nitronium ion, it is an electrophile because it is electron deficient. So, attacking species is electron deficient and uh, reactant is an uh, electron rich nucleophile. See here how it is attacking and it will give substituted product and this reaction is called electrophilic substitution reaction. In nucleophilic substitution reactions, in these reactions, a stronger nucleophile usually displaces a weaker nucleophile. For example, alkyl halide, stronger nucleophile or base when it is reacted and uh, this uh, nucleophile, weak nucleophile is displaced. So it is called nuclear free substitution reaction. Free radical substitution reactions. Substitution reactions initiated by free radicals are known as free radical substitution reactions. Methane, halogen, chlorine, it will give methyl chloride. This reaction is occurred at a higher temperature or in the presence of UV light. Mechanism, initiation step. Chlorine molecule will convert it first into the chlorine free radical in presence of UV light. Then in propagation step, this uh, methyl, proto, methyl is uh, will uh, react it with uh, this uh, chlorine free radical and it will give methyl free radical. This methyl free radical will react it with another halogen molecule and it will give substituted product. So this reaction is called free radical substitution reaction. In termination step, all free radicals will combine and they will be neutral molecules. Another next reaction is addition reactions. Reactions which involve 
combination between two reacting molecules to give a single molecule of the product are called addition reactions such reactions are typical or double or triple bond compounds depending upon the nature of the attacking species it may be nucleophile electrophile or free radical addition reactions are also of three types nucleophilic addition reaction see here it is carbonyl and this is nucleophile it will attacking the carbon this is electron deficient and it will give the addition product so it is a addition addition product ketocyano hydrate electrophilic addition reaction it is a very common reaction of alkenes propylene see here this proton because it contain propylene contain pi electrons so electrophile which is electron deficient it can add to this propylene and it will give this uh, intermediate it is a slow step in next step this bromide it will add it to this uh, carbocation and it will be two bromo propane and this is a addition product free radical addition reaction see here this is a free radical addition reaction if a propene is reacted with hbr in presence of peroxide it will give normal propyl bromide or one Bromo propane mechanism. Mechanism first, this peroxide will give alkoxy free radical. It is a homolytic fission, and this alkoxy free radical will react with a molecule of HPR and it will form bromide free radical. And this bromide free radical uh, is added in. it may be can add it in two ways but uh, this uh, secondary free radical is more stable so to this secondary free radical again hbr is added uh, it is a fast reaction and we will get one propyl bromide or one propyl in termination all these free radicals are combined and they will be neutral molecules elimination reactions an elimination reaction is one that involves the loss of two atoms or groups of atoms from the same adjacent atoms of a substance leading to the formation of pi bond for example see here how this is eliminated and uh, we will get uh, ethanol dehydration it will be ethene this uh, water molecule is evolved dibromo ethene in presence of zinc dust it will form ethene plus uh, zinc bromide here in presence of alkoxy koh it will dehydrohalogenation occur and it will be ethene fourth reaction rearrangement reactions reaction involving the migration of an atom or group from one atom to another within the same molecule are called rearrangement reaction when this normal butane is uh, heated in presence of aluminum chloride and hydrous aluminum chloride it will be arranged to from normal butane to isobutane one chloropropane will be arranged to two chloropropane uh, in presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride 
this is Hoffman rearrangement, acetyl nitrate. When reacted, it will uh, rearrange to this methyl isocyanate. This is a acetoxyphenol. It will, when heated with anhydrous aluminum chloride, it will give mixture of ortho and para hydroxy acetophenol and rearrangement. So this is all about the reactions, types of reactions. It is for BSC part one. Thank you very much for today's lecture.